My name is Maya, I'm a British Minecraft YouTuber, and this is Jack, he's a five foot tall conservationist. I'd like to say five foot one, but that's, you know, that's me. Jack was here like two years ago, and I watched the VOD this morning, and the whole setup looked terrible, and he only met like five animals, and he only wiped Oof. one butt. I do not plan on wiping. <laughs> I plan on wiping no butt today. Not even my own. I'm letting it crust today. So now we have way more animals and way more butts. We're at Alvea Sanctuary. It's a non-profit animal sanctuary conservation education center. All virtual. We rescue a bunch of animals, all of which are non-releasable from a lot of different situations. Provide them sanctuary and then we do education programs with them. And so Jack is going to meet a bunch of the animals today. Name one that you met last time besides the cow. Georgie. Oh, respect. I was going to ask if you remembered his name. Hey, it's me, Georgie the Frog. I eat f***ing... What do I eat? What do I eat again? Bugs. I eat bugs and sh They're delicious. Other people say, I don't f*** with bugs. Bugs don't taste good. They're f***ing wrong. They're frauds. I hate them. I'm angry. I've decided... Is your frog angry? I've decided... I'm, I mean, I'm yeah, the frog. Yeah, he's mad. I'm a fucking pissed off frog. Fuck you. Donate money to the charity. Give me money. You know what happens with all your charity dollars? I pocket them. <laughs> That's what I'm Georgie and I take all the no, money. He doesn't. I launder the money. <laughs> Hi guys. Guys, this is Georgie. He's an African bullfrog. As you can tell, he doesn't do all that much. He's pretty chill. He likes to mm -hmm. chill out in the wild. They'll bury themselves for 10 months out of the year underground uh, because they have to stay moist and they're from Africa. So they only come out in the rainy season. So he's oh. used to like, he's programmed to chill out. How do they eat when they're underground? They don't, they're opportunistic feeders. They don't eat very often. Georgie gets fed every three days here because it's always he's such likes, a big boy. He, I told you he eats bugs. He also eats mice. You oh. eat mice? <laughs> Do you know why we're wearing gloves, Jack? If I remember, he'd kill me if I didn't. Well, no. <laughs> no, not actively. I'm not saying he's like gonna like be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Don't lift me with your dirty hands. I uh, don't walk off. Everything is worth living for, Georgie. It's not worth it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trust me. Don't let him. It's. Don't I'm let not him letting. I'm off. trying to prevent a terrible thing here. I've blocked him. He doesn't um, know where he is right now. <laughs> He has semi-permeable skin. So yes, they absorb things. It also means that he can absorb bad things though. Oh. So if Jack has any poo-poo on his hands. Which I don't. I just said, I'm not wiping today. So he does have poo-poo on his hands. This is a super worm. This is Georgie's favorite food ever. A super worm? Now watch, oh, he spotted that super worm. Watch him at work. Yeah. National Geographic, baby. Go, Georgie, go. Go, Georgie. This is a sit and wait predator. Oh, oh, oh he, he missed. almost had it. Hey, you almost got him, buddy. This oh my God, he's amazing. Get in. I can eat worms that quick. Oh, there's the original picture. Yeah. United. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. How high can he jump? Um, okay. Two. Swear to God, I, I'm actually not joking. I saw him do a backflip once. I'm so serious. What? He was in the corner of his enclosure and we were feeding him a mouse with tongs and it was just above where his eyes are and he jumped to get it and he flipped over. This sounds more like he like fucked up jumping and fell over. By definition, he did a backflip. If I slip on a banana peel and my head goes under my ass, am I doing a backflip or did I fall over? That's my take on it this. It depends on if you landed or not. You can accidentally do a backflip. It was cool. You guys should have seen it. Guess what the next animal is. Uh, uh, koala? No. Shit. Patchy the ball python. Patchy's name is Patchy because he's got one eye. I this remember side. now. I remember Patchy. No eye. They're called ball pythons because they curl up in a ball when they're scared. They're not venomous or anything, right? No. no. I figured. I figured you wouldn't give me a venomous yeah. snake. To I'm be just fair. like, yeah, actually, they're super venomous. <gasps> no. no, I'm gonna curl up into a ball. When Jack came here, I think she was probably like this long. She was not that big. Yeah. I, I, she's, now she's, she's like, I can show you guys actually. Oh, we got her skin. Yeah. This was Patchy's first shed when she got here. There's Patchy's most recent shed. Wow. Yes, yeah, she has grown quite a bit. She has. Only about 20% of snake species are venomous. You are nine times more likely to die via lightning strike in the US than a snake bite. Really? Isn't that interesting? Do you know how snakes smell? No, not sort of normal. normal. Just like, just like normal. He's got jokes. You know what? I really figured she would have at least a smell. Nothing, huh? And she doesn't. It's with their tongues though, right? They smell with their tongue, yeah. Snakes' tongues look like this like this. There's some new research that's been coming out that the reason they have this forked tongue is if they stick it out and they catch particles on this side, scent particles, uh -huh. then they veer off this way to like oh, follow wow. the trail. Oh, it's like directional. Isn't that crazy? Do you know what a snake's penis looks like? <laughs> Do you want to guess? Here, I'll switch with you and you can try to draw. I can try and draw a snake penis. Yeah. They got balls too? Uh, just draw the penis. Don't so all of a sudden I can't draw internal. the balls? I mean, you, if you would like to, you can. But so, all right, wrong. this is the snake, right? The balls is here. All right, they're inside, okay. undecided. And the penis, the snake penis, all right, comes out. And you'll never guess what. A whole new snake 
comes out. It's, it's The snake's penis is in fact another snake, but the tongue, it's semen. Ew! <laughs> They gotta shoot semen somehow, that's what penises are for. Snake penises look like, I'm drawing with my left hand, like that. Like the tongue? Yeah, kinda. Round. It's called a hemi penis, two heads. What's the purpose of a hemi penis? Twice the odds. <laughs> when snakes breed, sometimes they'll have breeding balls or they'll like wrap around each other, like spiral around each other. Um, and so having a hemi, ew, having a hemi penis makes it so that they can enter on either side. Oh, so they ain't like putting both in at once. No. They're picking one and going, all right, that's the one that's going in today. Yeah. Anyway, now you know. There's another fun You left penis gang or right penis gang? Let me know in chat. Fatty! So what's the next animal, Maya? I'm gonna bring it out. It is a reptile. If it's a spider, I'll cry. I've been promised that there are no spiders because I, I am scared reptile. of spiders. But it's a reptile. Oh, it's a lizard of some description. Maybe. Whoa, Don't hang on. This is toast? That's a dragon. It is kind of like... You always wonder, how do people come up with these mythical creatures? They saw one of these, that's what they did. Yeah, maybe. Poster Strudel is a blue-tongued skink. Why? Because he's got a blue tongue. Also, he has a blue tongue to tell potential predators that he's poisonous. Um, a lot of animals have like really bright colors in the wild. What? <laughs> Why have you said um, that now? I'm holding him. But he's not actually poisonous. Oh, he's lying. It's a lie. Oh, he's a liar. It's a bait. I didn't know animals could lie. Hey, shout out lying, man. Deception. His favorite food is snails though. Really? Um, yeah, Toaster Shooter loves snails. You know who hates snails? What? Gardeners. Gardeners hate snails because they eat their plants. So then they put pesticides on their plants. Then the snails mm. eat the pesticides. Then toast eats the snails. Then toast eats the pesticides. Toast dies. So chemical pesticides Come are Come on, bad. farmers. Yeah. What are you doing? What the heck? You don't want to kill this guy. He's not really venomous. He's lying. Yeah, right? he's a liar. There's nothing wrong with that. What so, do you guys think about toast? Toast is pretty cool. I might pick you back up but again. He's on the move. Oh, actually, if you're on the move. Yeah. I would not want to disturb a he man's movement. He has places movement. to be, Jack. Well, hang on, because you keep coming to the edge, and I don't know if you saw Georgie. It's just not worth it. You good? <laughs> I'm gonna lift you now. Our friend Toaster Strudel. So guys, avoid pesticides and rodenticides where you can. That's what you can do to help animals like Toaster Strudel. All right, you wanna change gears and do some bugs? You know me, I love bugs. So the things I really don't like is I don't like rats. Rats oh kind God, of freak me out. Hater. If they touch me, I'll freak out. And the same with spiders. Bugs, if they caught me off guard, would freak me out. But you know, because like I know I'm about to touch one, I'm cool. We need bugs. They make up over 90% of our animal species on this planet. There are so many of them. And if we didn't have them, we would all perish and die like so fast. We would die so fast. All of them? Yeah. percent We really thought, oh yeah, let's give 90% of the world to these guys. Yes, because they're that important. This is Marty. This is? This is Marty. There's a lot of him. They're all named Marty. Oh, oh. This is a zebra isopod. I will hold a Marty. This is like Mediterranean roly-poly, except it's cool because they got stripes and shit. Isopods are really cool. There's over 10,000 species. They range from being this small to being this big. Really? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. They eat organic matter, so they'll eat, they'll break down things in the soil to make it into usable soil. So if we didn't have detritivores and other things that are munching on dirt and poop and stuff, our world would just be filled with waste. All right, you want another one? I have a bug for you that's a little bigger. Her name's Barbara. <laughs> I can see her antenna. Oh, why is a big fucking owl? Was she that big last time? Barbara is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Great, I'm holding a cockroach. <laughs> They're called a hissing cockroach because they can hiss. They can expel air out of their abdomen and make like a sound. But she she won't do that because she's so super chill. Oh, yeah. cool. A lot of people hate cockroaches. Why? Because we associate cockroaches with dirty places, right? That's true. They mm -hmm. show up after the grossness happens to clean it up. They're like, sorting you out. Yeah, they're they're sorting you out. Maybe if you sorted yourself out, you wouldn't have cockroaches. Maybe if you sorted bugger. yourself out, you wouldn't have, co what was the last part? You wouldn't have cockroaches. D you, dirty bugger. You dirty bugger. bugger? No, not bugger, like, like bugger. Bugger. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Maya said it. Yeah. You're a dirty bugger, mate. Yeah. And you shouldn't have cockroaches in your house. I got a UV thing for you. You have not met this one. Tortellini? This is Tortellini. He's a baby emperor scorpion. So as an adult, he'll look like this. Wow. And oh, now, their pincers get fucking massive. Yeah, right now he's just a little baby. Do you guys want to see a cool Tortellini trick? We got to turn the lights off. Scorpions are really cool because they fluoresce in UV light. The whole thing? Look, or just you can't the see him. Wow, oh my <laughs> god. Can't. Isn't that wild? The theory is that they can find each other this way. Interesting. They actually glow in the dark. Glow in the dark tortellini, kind of cool. If you guys want to go find bugs at night, I wouldn't recommend picking them up. But if you walk around with a black light at night, you might find some crazy stuff. I imagine you walk around at night with a UV torch and you see one of the big fuckers just glowing green. So cool. Guys, 
we are going to go outside so Jack can see the rest of the sanctuary. All right, on the move. It's such a beautiful day, Jack Manifold. It is. It's more beautiful than last time. Dobby. There she is. A chicken. Who the hell let you own this place if you think that's a chicken? <laughs> Do you remember what Stompy is? Is she an emu? Yeah. I'm going to pet you now. Chicken. Stompy is a common emu. This is an Australian rat type, a flightless bird. He's very nice. Oh, oh. he's relaxing. He got comfy. <laughs> we got Stompy from oh, a zoo in him. California. They had an emu that laid eggs and the mom refused to sit on the eggs, so they incubated them. So Stompy was born and hatched in the incubator. Uh. Now he wants to bite my rings. You can see it in his eyes. See? <laughs> Someone said in chat, apparently his brain is 0.6% of his body mass. Is that true? 0.06%. He, yeah, he does have a very small head. He's stupid. They have a relative. You little stupid guy. <laughs> hey? He has a relatively small brain. Yeah, he's a little stupid guy, but he looks friendly enough. He does have a little wings. It's right here. You see that? Oh, wow, it is tiny. They're not flying. Check this out, though. He's very dinosaur. -y. He's got a little claw. That's a dinosaur. Someone asked if these are really dangerous. Yeah, if they were to kick you, they could certainly, like, disembowel you, but... Fucking hell, all right. I, didn't... I thought it was going to, like, it would hurt a lot. I didn't realize <laughs> you were going to say disembowel. <laughs> Jesus. But Stompy would never. Look at him. He's just a little guy. All right, yeah. you want to... See Winnie? Oh, yeah. Winnie the Moo is a Red Angus beef cow. We got her from a beef operation in Oklahoma, so she would have gone to slaughter when she was about a year old. This is going to be a harsh thing to say, but if I was Winnie the Moo and it was between getting my ass wiped by Jack Manifold or being turned to beef, <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't That's have made the decision crazy. quite as easy as Winnie did. Hey, hey, hey. She's developed a bit of an attitude. Winnie, Jack. Winnie. Do <laughs> wow. <laughs> you wipe somebody's ass and hey. <laughs> Well, you can be my friend for now, then. Hi, horsey. Oh, look who's here to join the party. Stompy. Hey, Stompy. You really like people, don't you? Winnie? You're pure grumpy these days. Here, Jack, you can feed her. Winnie, there you go. Yay, now you guys are friends. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We, I thought we were friends, and then she dragged oh, out my oh, fucking ass. <laughs> Eating less beef is a really great start if you want to reduce your environmental impact. Right. You don't have to be vegan, but eating less beef is a great start. Yeah. Also, it's better for cows, you know? You wouldn't be here. Yeah, but Winnie would not And you seem here. awfully ungrateful for it. No, she's, she, yeah, you're right. It's all right, Winnie, I'll forgive you. Winnie had her second birthday last week and she got a new ball. Where is the ball? Somewhere in here. She got a ball? This is Winnie's ball. She's gonna be so excited. Oh, you know who hates this ball? Who? Stompy. Oh yeah, Stompy's already on his way. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> Stompy, don't be upset. Winnie, I brought you something. Oh, that's a happy <laughs> cow. For you. <laughs> I don't know how to defend this. This is this is gameplay like I've never seen. You're not gonna score doing this. You're just holding it. You're just ball hogging. Don't <laughs> breathe at me like that. No, you're not giving me fucking attitude. Fucking hell. Ah, yeah, you see? Now it's mine. <laughs> Two can play this fucking game. What are you gonna do now, huh? You can't do shit. He looks so unimpressed by you. It's actually crazy. I'm actually slightly worried that if she rams it with her head, it's gonna hit me straight in the balls. You are positioned for that. Yeah, I know. I might just. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass it to you, Winnie. Okay. Well, oh. no, you've missed it now. Winnie, the ball's going, and, and so am I. We got donkeys as well. Oh yeah. You wanna stick your hand out, and he can come smell your hand. You can smell it. Oh, friends. Oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Come on now. Do we get a stompy hug? Oh yeah, you can hug stompy. Come on, big bird. Oh, there you go. See? That was... Slightly awkward. I give it like a two out of time. Oh, okay. Here, come from the front like Come this, from the front. And then, and then like this. Oh, that's so Oh, nice. wow! Stompy. Wait, hang on. I, I, now I feel like a dickhead. That was really awkward. Hey, stompy. Want a hug? <laughs> oh, oh, that's good there hug. it is. All right, nice. it was very brief. Oh, it was, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, well, it was okay. I suppose I am just a strange man. Goodbye, donkeys. Bye, donkeys. Goodbye, it was a pleasure to meet you and Goodbye, be sniffed. Tom. And now we can go see the parrots in their actual enclosure. Where do you keep the goblins? Pardon? Where do you keep the goblins? Where does she keep the goblins? She keeps saying that there's no goblins, but I know there's goblins in. We tell him my ego doesn't know where goblins are. I'm so she does. Hello. This is Siren. Hello, Siren. Did she say hello, Mama? Yeah, she did. That's so sweet. That's really cute. You can feed her this. Hold it like this. Siren, for you. Oh, there you go. Siren is a blue fronted Amazon parrot. Huh? And then Mia is an African gray. You can give Mia this pistachio if you'd like. There's for you. Pistachio. They're very Yay, gentle. I figured they pepper. would maybe bite my fingers, but they're very gentle. Uh, they totally could. Parrots have super, super strong beaks. One of the reasons we have them is because people think they want parrots as pets because they're really cute and really funny and they sing and dance. Yeah. Uh, but really, they can break your bones. They can break your skin. Uh, they break can your be bones. super, super. These guys are like yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that actually looking. Yeah, fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Can you sing happy birthday? 
Yeah. Happy birthday. 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 Uh, she used to sing a whole song. Now it's just birthday. These birds are super smart, but they're also really destructive. So right here, even this is Mia's latest work. Just tearing the door frame apart. Yeah, what they can chew through wood, and our houses are mostly made of wood. Oh, there's drama. Sorry. What are you scrapping for? Sorry. Violence Sorry. is unnecessary. Over here, we have macaws. That's Tico with the wings. Yeah. Tico's Thank you for blue, showing us those. A blue and gold macaw. And then Miley is a Catalina macaw. So these two are both female and they are pair bonded. Really? Yeah. Lesbian parrots? Yeah, they're in love with each other. These no, lot are going to love that. Sometimes Tico likes to dance. You have a banger that you want to play for her? Man, if I'm going to be honest, I dropped out of college, found myself a whole new realm of knowledge. You guys like Tubbo? Hmm? See if Mia likes it. Mia, do you like Tubbo? You guys like Tubbo? Anyone fuck with Tubbo here? She hates it. Tough crap. Tough crowd for Tubbo. Alright, no more Tubbo. She <laughs> doesn't. Do you do like Tubbo? <laughs> yes! Sometimes Mia likes to dance. She likes Beyonce. Okay. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just bopping my head like a twat. You got Tico going. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> go Tico. <laughs> We got some chickens in here. We about to see some cock. You want to give them some snacks? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's gross shit. She gave me gross shit. They're dried mealworms. This is Oliver. He's a rooster. And then that's Henrique. Oh, you're and being that's greedy now, man. Nugget. So we have the chickens to teach people about the egg industry. If you're in the US, the label to look for if you're buying eggs in the grocery store is certified humane. You know what? I wasn't going to do this, but you had said that you don't like rats. So let's go see the rats. Oh, do you have rats? I do. Ooh. Surprise. Chinchilla. We do have chinchillas. We have two chinchillas. I was gonna let them out, but first of all, this is Push Pop. You Hello. Can there if you want. She's a salcata tortoise. You wanna take her outside, actually? Sure. We can take her for a little walk. She would like that. The one thing about you guys is you're a bit slow. So at the end of the day. You know, actually, she can move. Really? Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that is out. speed, like Lightning McQueen. She's just thinking about which direction to go. Forwards tends to be a start. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, wow, now that is speed. <laughs> it's like watching Usain Bolt. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't know if I could keep up. All right, you want to meet the chinchillas? I would love to meet a chinchilla. Come say hi. Wow. So these are chinchillas. Wow. It takes 125 of these to make a fur coat. So when fur was Ooh. way more popular, they almost wiped them out in Peru. Jesus. She does tricks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold. Really? Seriously? You made a chinchilla hold that? A chinchilla is saying Jet Manifold is bald. I'm not even that bald at my loomy. I've got more hair than usual. Oh, yeah, exactly. She saw that I have more hair than usual. She went, oh, that's, that's false. The one thing I can't be seen as a chinchilla is peddling lies. She won't lie. See? The one thing chinchillas aren't is liars. You see, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> Go. Hello. All right, ready to meet your best friends. This is Chips Ahoy, waking Chips up Ahoy. from a nap. I don't mind them to look at. You know what it is? It's the tails. The mm. tails are kind of weird. I don't know what it is about them. What? Oh, you didn't bite me too, thank fuck. She's very cute, and this is Nilla Wafer. She's also taking a nap. Nilla Wafer. Hi, Nilla. Welcome to the marmoset enclosure. <laughs> He's pogging. Monkeys. <laughs> These are marmosets. They watch you. Oh, this is what I love about monkeys. They're so smart. That's Appa and that's Momo. Appa is a white tufted marmoset or a common marmoset and Momo is a black tufted marmoset. They came from a neglect situation. So they were transferred to us. They were rehabilitated here for about six months. They like screams a lot. They're like, oh, you made a noise. You do like screens. God, we're so similar to them. If they could invent iPads, they'd be like screen ages, wouldn't they? How cool is this chat? One reason that they don't make good pets is because it's just super unfair to them. Monkeys love having this outdoor space. They need a ton of space. Another reason is because their job nope. in the wild not is fine. to be seed dispersers. <laughs> what do you I think? put my arm out and he did not like the Jenny, idea. Come here. Oh. That's nice. <gasps> <Whoa>. Hello. <laughs> chat, there is a monkey on my shoulders. I'm wearing a monkey. <laughs> I was really yeah, hoping that would happen. That. Um, <laughs> so Sorry. Oh, that is so... <laughs> You sat on the brim of my hat? Yeah. This is incredible chat. So their ability to poop everywhere helps a lot with forest regrowth. They'll plant trees. Excuse me, what does it do everywhere? Poop everywhere. All right, back to the <laughs> thing, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> They're not meant to be pets, so don't get monkeys as a, as a pet. What else we got? I told you yesterday, we're rescuing two wolves. Their enclosure's getting built right now. Okay. So that's what all this is back here. We can walk back there. Jack in the wolf enclosure. I'm in the wolf enclosure, where I belong. Some say I'm a, like a sigma wolf, is what they say. And this is, if I... If I, it, if I, if the wolves were here right now, they'd each run by my side, they'd sit there and they'd, and, 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 and they'd know I was in charge, which is what that means. 
So that's a wolf enclosure. <laughs> yep, let's move on. We're gonna see the crows. All the filzer heads are gonna get crazy. So we have two crows. The one yelling is uh -huh. Abbott and the other one is Coconut. So the crows were born in the wild in Texas. They were blown out of their nest by a storm and uh -huh. then they were raised by people. And the people that raised them, they became imprinted on. So they never learned oh, okay. from other crows how to take care of themselves. So they tried releasing Abbott, the one who's screaming, yeah. um, into the wild. And he ended up a couple days later at a park very close by, just landing on random people screaming at them oh. because he hadn't eaten in two days because he doesn't know how to take care of himself. Why is that one bald at the back? Abbott bullies him. Oh. And makes him bald. And now you will wonder why I look like this, chat. He gets guess who bald. bullies me? Not and me. And guess what? Don't you start. Who wrote the note? The chinchilla didn't. Uh, yes, she did. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Chinchillas don't lie, Maya. So with the crows, if you guys find a baby bird in the wild, make sure you don't try to raise it by yourself because it's really easy to accidentally imprint birds. Bring them to a wildlife rehabilitator. We're leaving. Don't and bully the other one. That. What the fuck are you? What the <laughs> fuck is that? Is that a fox? Yeah. What the fuck? I can tell you what they say. Go ahead. I... <laughs> no, go ahead. Tell us what they say. Jack. Isn't it something like... <laughs> I don't remember the song. <laughs> This is the fox enclosure. Wow. Oh I'll my take you god. In there. Wait, we're going in with him? Yeah. He's not gonna eat me? No. This is an American red fox. What? And so is the other one that is red. This is Finn. I have some chicken if you wanna give him some chicken. Yeah. Um, oh, so god, you are just dogs. You are just dogs. So he's an American red fox, but he is this color because he was bred for the pet trade. He oh. was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California, and people breed foxes to be lots of different colors because they want fancy looking foxes. Foxes don't make good pets. They mark everything. They scent posts, so they'll uh, piss and shit on everything. On and they love digging. Like they're super destructive if they're inside a home because they're meant to do stuff like that. This one um, over there, that's Reed. He was born in the wild and was orphaned in the wild. So Aww. somebody found him as a baby. And then he was raised by people similar to the crows. He just never learned how to take yeah. care of himself in the wild. So he acts more like a fox and he is much more shy. If you want to walk real slow over to Reed, I'll distract Finn and you can offer him that. Hey Reed, you know what's going on, huh? Yeah, they call me the fox whisperer. Nice, that's great. There you go, buddy. The crazy thing about people that want foxes is they want a fox and then they want a fox that's like black and white and has spots. And then they want a, a fox that has a shorter snout. And then they want a fox that has floppy ears. They just want a dog. Get a dog just at that get point. A dog. Dogs are allowed, you're allowed to have dogs. What are you crying for? I know, you've met Jack Manifold. I'd do the same. Jack, that's it. Is that it? Is that the tour? Those are the animals. Thank you for showing me all the animals. Of I course. I actually learned a lot. Good. Guys, I hope you learned things. Give Arveus money. Guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.